Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the NBA Rising Stars Challenge. Get ready for some thrilling end-to-end -end action as the best first- and second-year players in the NBA do battle on the hardwood. Alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. Yeah, and, Kevin, you talked about some thrills being in store for us tonight. These young guys are all capable of making a spectacular play at any given time. And I, I got a feeling we'll see plenty of them here tonight. Absolutely. Well, without question, I mean, if this game has taught us anything over the last few years, over the years in general, it's there isn't a highlight reel big enough to capture all of the incredible high-flying action. And now the opening lineup for Team World. Sharp out there with Josh Giddy. Then it's Franz Wagner. Then it's Alperin Shangun. And it's Duarte in at the three spot. And, and it's just something about the Rising Stars challenge. It, it gives each of these young players a chance to really do something special on a national stage, maybe for the first time in their professional career. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the miss by Kate Cunningham. Here's Shangun. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And for this young man, this game is serving as kind of a coming out party, if you will. A lot of fans haven't seen him that often during the regular season. And that's one of the neat things about the Rising Stars Challenge. It's a way for some talented young players to get their first taste of the national spotlight. Now, here's Mobley. Back to Cunningham. He kicks it to Mobley. Four on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, and it's Wagner with the rebound. You brought up the big stage these young guys are on tonight. For so many of the fans, Greg, who are still, uh, you know, just getting familiar with these players, it really is a great welcome to the NBA moment. It, it really is a showcase. And for each player, whether they have great moments or not, just being chosen to participate is a huge honor. And it says a lot about where they stand amongst their peers. So it's USA now. Following the bucket by Team World, Cunningham lays it up and banks it in. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Here's Duarte. And there's the pass to Sharp. Let's a floater go. Count that bucket. And for me, this is always one of the best weeks of the year. So much fun for everyone involved. Fans, players, coaches. What a blast. Yeah, the NBA knows how to throw a party in celebrating its game. There's no doubt about that. An All-Star Week is one great show after another. Here's Cunningham following the bucket by Team World. Over Giddy. The rebound by Shaw. And guys, since this game started back in 94, this has been a perfect warm-up for the All-Star game. I mean, it has all the fun and excitement of the big game with the added element of introducing some of the great young stars to the league's fame. Now, here's Green, following the missed shot by Franz Wagner. Lobbed up there for Barnes. That's just good fundamentals from Cunningham. When a guy is that open, you got to get it to him. We're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Wagner wide open. That three off the mark. This really has become one of the signature events of All-Star Week. I know you love it, Greg. It gets everyone into the mood for all the festivities that are soon to come. Yeah, it, it does. I mean, it, it's such a great way for these young players to show off some of the fancy moves that they wouldn't even dare to attempt in a regular season game. Now, Giddy. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes it to Wagner. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. Good on the triple. Wagner's got five points so far. Wagner always a threat from downtown. And I love the efficiency and solid mechanics of his shooting stroke. Pass to Duran. Here's Barnes. And he makes good on the layup. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Here's Wagner. Five points in the game. And he banks in the layup. Seven points in the game. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. 
And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And you got to love the aggression that he had taking it to the rim there. Sets the tone in a close game like this one. Cunningham passes to Barnes. The shot's good. Team World leading by three. Pass to Sharp. Here's Duarte, covered by Mobley. The shot no good by Duarte. And it's Barnes with the ball for USA. Cunningham on the wing. Mobley dishes to Green. Six on the shot clock. Shangun with the rebound. Wide, wide open, and still, surprisingly, he wasn't able to cash in. Duarte passes to Giddy. Now the pass to Wagner. Here's the floater. Another shot. And the layup is good. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Cunningham passes to Barnes. Back to Cunningham. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. Cunningham's got his second bucket. And this is the beauty of Cunningham. He can score from anywhere on the floor. That length, obviously, a huge advantage. Now, here's Wagner. He's got nine. Giddy the pass to Sharp. Giddy with the screen on green. Here's Sharp. And a miss there on the triple. USA trails by three. Cunningham outside. Mobley outside. Back to Cunningham. Outside green. Pass to Duran. Trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Now just a one-point team world lead. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. And now the first time out called here for team world. Platoon swap here for Team World. side wing. Good ball movement here by Team World. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Matherin. Good save it. Team World with another miss. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you can see the frustration on his face. Smith outside. Pass to Mobley. And here's Smith. Puts up a three. A shot. No good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Three, three, three. Manton, the pass to Yurtsevich. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. I'd say that shot is well within his range. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, and especially when he caps it off with the steady one-hand jam. Here's Alvarado. Misses the layup. Here's Patton. There's the pass to Yurtsevin. And it's off from three-point range. USA trails by three. Island passes to Smith. Here's Alvarado. Over in the corner, Bancaro. 
that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Here's Matherin, hopefully with the rebound. And, and you know what? Defensively, both teams have picked it up as we've gotten a little deeper into this game. A little more competitive fire and intensity being shown out there now. Now, here's Mobley. He's still scoreless so far in this one. He gets it in there. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Here's Kaminga. Passes it to Watford. It's taken away by Smith. Here's Highland to the paint. Here's Ben Carroll. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. And it's Team World with the ball. Now here's Kaminga. Good save it. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Gertzabin's got his second basket of the night. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Mobley inside. And that's going to be a travel. Team World ball. Team World leading by three. To the left wing. Pass to Bant. Here's Matherin. Oh, good with the triple. Here's Highland. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Kicks it to Mobley. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. USA with another miss. Here's Panton. Down low. Here's Watford. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And, and that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Team World. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And I've really liked how they've moved the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. We've got 128 left to play in the first quarter. Mobley outside. Pass to Highland. Driving to the basket. And he makes that one. Mobley's got his second bucket of the game to go. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Kaminga with it. Mobley's there. It's stolen by Van Carroll. Island passes to Mobley. There's 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Island misses. Team World leading by four. Here's Banton. Island with the rebound. Mobley and Mobley throws it down and guys he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights never has been never will be he is a determined finisher and guys I like the fact that he chose the one hand for the tomahawk slam because you get a little higher when you go off one hand and one foot Highlands shot is good and you know I'm not quite sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave somebody like him uncovered. To the right side. There's Kaminga. And so it's Franz Wagner making highlights for Team World. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back to the action in just a minute. Welcome back as we get a glimpse of the future here at the Rising Stars Challenge. 
and it has been a fantastic game up to this point. It certainly has. I mean, we know these young fellas can play, and they are putting on a show. And you know, the officials not giving their whistles much of a workout here tonight. Very few fouls being called. And most of that, Greg, is because they're not playing full force defense. I mean, you're never going to see as much contact around the bucket in this game as you would ordinarily. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Yurtsevin. Josh Giddy is out there with Sharp. And it's Watford in at the four. USA trails by three. Here's Alvarado. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The pass to Green. He's now one for two with that bucket. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Those looks they're allowing are almost automatic. Here's Duarte. Passes to Sharp. And here is Yurtsevin. Good ball movement here by Team World. Clock is at three. With the teardrop, Sharp, that's good. And Team World leads by three. Oh, nice job executing inside. Sharp's confidence is what makes him such a dangerous player. Barnes, the screen. Alvarado passes to Barnes. Shot left block. It's rebounded by Giddy. Team World leading by three. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. A three ball. It's hauled in by USA. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And out of bounds as Team World gains possession. And USA may get a change here. Cunningham's checked in. And a change for Team World. Hans Wagner's checked in for Yurtsevin. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. Wagner against Jackson. The shot. And he can't bank that one in. Barnes down low. The rebound by Watford. Giddy with it. No points in the game yet for him. To the wing on the left. Here's Duarte. Team World with another miss. And so Green will bring it up for USA. Only given up two points this quarter. Barnes kicks to Jackson. Cunningham outside. Jackson a screen on Giddy. Cunningham dishes it to Jackson. Good, and the assist goes to Cunningham. Cunningham's got three assists tonight. And 10 of their last 12 coming off assists. Pass to Giddy. To the inside. Stolen by Jackson. And even three on three break. Nobody near Barnes. USA working now with the new shot clock. Duran, no good. A tight game here in Cleveland. Duarte passes to Giddy. Wagner with it. Pass to Duarte. Lock at six. Giddy the pass to Wagner. And that one drops for him. Wagner's got 11 points. Sets the screen, quickly rolls to his spot. Perfectly done by Wagner. The pass to Barnes. Wagner against Jackson. Passes it to Cunningham. There's a good screen. USA needs to get off a shot. Shot's good by Duran. Just a fantastic decision maker. Cunningham giving it up in that two-man set. Wagner outside. And there's a whistle. That goes on Scotty Barnes. 
That is his first foul of the game. And Team World making a change here. Shengun's checked in. Team World, Alfred Shengun. Giddy against Cunningham. Shengun passes to Wagner. Shot clock at five from the arc. Drills it from outside. Giddy's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Nice vision from the youngster. Sharp that time. And out of bounds as Team World gains possession. Team World leading by four. Wagner outside. Basket number six to a stat sheet. He's now six for ten. Staying strong against the contact. Playing right through it. Wagner fighting for that finish. Now Green. Shoots from the block. And Cunningham with a nice bucket inside. And it's six points for Cade Cunningham. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Giddy finds Shangoon. Now Giddy. Pass to Arte. Good ball movement here by Team World. Just five on the clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. That's on Jalen Green. And all the talent in the world. That's what made Sharp the seventh overall pick in a fairly deep draft. For Team World, they have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. The free throw drops for Sharp. So both teams changing it up here. Good on both. USA trails by six. Outside Jackson. Cunningham outside. Van Carroll with screen for Cunningham. No good on the shot. And Team World will come the other way. Now here's Sharp. He's got six. Pass to Duarte over green and the shot is long and the well is running dry for him right now nothing falling and you know you can sense his frustration this is going to be a test of his resolve here and the three off target team world leading by six here's Duarte he's been patient so far nothing on the scoreboard yet USA with it. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Cunningham outside. Shot clock at six. Jackson passes to Highland. From ten feet out, USA with another miss. On offense, here's Team World. They're on a 14-6 run. And it's Sharp missing. And so Green will bring it up for USA. Nine-point game. Duarte grabs the board. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Here's Banton. There's the screen. Kaminga the pass, Duarte. 
and he can extend the lead to double digits. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. Back to Jackson. Here's Banton, guarded by Green. Banton, the pass to Shingu. Inside. Shots good by Banton. Banton's got five points so far. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Now, here's Cunningham. Six points for him. Green kicks to Jackson. Out to the right wing. Shoots it up. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Team World leading by 11. Kaminga finds Shangoon. Here's Kaminga. And the pass to Banton. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And Kaminga throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. So, timeout called here, the first for USA. USA trails by 13. Here's Highland. To stop the drought. And the three ball is good. Highland's got five points so far. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Now, here's Sharp. Covered by Mobley. And it's Sharp missing. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here's Alvarado. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Island misses. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Matherin. No good from outside. Matherin's gone 104 from the field. Here's Alvarado. He's defended by Yurtsevin. Oh, love that. Mangaro moves so well with and without the ball. Pass to Matherin. Out to the right wing. And here's Sharp. He's got six. Team World with another miss. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Alvarado passes to Smith, 14 feet away. Mobley misses. Team World leading by eight. Here's Banton. He has five. One ten left in the first half. From the left block. And it's sharp missing. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Mobley dishes to Bancaro. Calls through. He's now made two of four. 
And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Van has gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting. Pass to Matherin. Now, here's Sharp. Covered by Mobley. Can they get it? Here's Sharp. Covered by Mobley. No good on the triple. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Certainly not the kind of night he was looking for at the offensive end. And it's had a ripple effect on the team. And there's the feet to Kaminga. Oh, no good on that one. Good G by Mobley. Here's Alvarado. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And so we wrap up the first half. Team World out in front. They lead by six. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. back to this showcase of the amazing young talent in the NBA, the Rising Stars Challenge. And it's not hard to tell just how much fun these young guys are having out there tonight. That's exactly right. And the same goes for the fans. I mean, they're having a blast, too. What a terrific event this has been. Duran out there with Barnes. And it's Green. And it's Cunningham. And it's Mobley in at the three, the small forward. And that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half. USA trails by six. Pass to Duran. Now here's Mobley. And stolen by Giddy. 14 feet away. Duran pulls it in. Duran's got six rebounds here tonight. On the wing, Green. Cunningham outside. Back to Green. Just five to shoot. Nifty move. Offensive rebound. Shots good by Duran. Duran's got the first points of the second half up on the board for USA. Wagner outside. to Giddy. Wagner with a screen for Giddy. Pulls up on the wing. And it's Wagner missing. USA trails by four. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Barnes outside. To the middle. Here's Mobley. Rebound by Team World. Wagner's got his fourth rebound in this one. Giddy against Cunningham. Throws it up high. And then Sharp with the dunk. Off of the leaping ability of Sharp becoming a factor. This rookie flies up for the alley-oop. Cunningham against Giddy. Cunningham looking it over. The pass to Duran. Baseline J on the way. Rebound by Team World. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for USA. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Barnes can't get it to go. And just a little more defense in this game than we're used to seeing. 
Yeah, and I like to see that, quite honestly. I mean, they're, they're battling hard at both ends right now. Now, here's Giddy. Wagner with it. And Giddy gets it to go. Giddy's got five points so far. Great to see a young guy play that kind of cerebral game. Wagner sees a shooter and gets him set up nicely. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And trying to extend this lead, no better way than playing north and south, getting after it. Green finds Cunningham. USA with another miss. Team World leading by eight. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Passes to Orte over Barnes. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Now Green. Cunningham outside. They set the pick with the shot. Rebound by Team World. Wagner's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Giddy against Barnes. Giddy kicks to Wagner. Pass to Shengu. Shoots over Duran. Shengu no good. USA trails by eight. Green passes to Mobley. Barnes down low. Giddy defending. Here's Duran. Banked in off the glass. Duran's got four this quarter. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with the soft touch to match. Giddy the pass to Wagner. A shot missing. So USA will take it the other way. Green kicks to Barnes. Dishes it to Mobley. Cunningham outside. And the officials call for a three-second violation. Jackson, he's checked in for Mobley. And a change for Team World. Watford's checked in. Team World leading by six. Now here's Giddy. He has five. Pass to Wagner. And the layup's good off the glass. Wagner's got 15 points. Wagner knows how to handle his business inside, mainly due to how much confidence he brings to the court. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Now, here's Cunningham. He's got six. Green in the post. Shangun covering. And it's Green missing. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he's shot so poorly. Cunningham against Giddy. A beautiful reverse layup. He has seven. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Green. Cunningham outside. To the wing right side. During the pass to Green. Count that one. Quick release for the rookie Green, making it look easy. And it's Team World with the ball. Wagner outside. Here's the pass to Shengu. Back to Wagner. Latrey. It's hauled in by USA. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Took him no time at all on that one. That's now eight points for Scotty Barnes. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green, putting the team ahead of himself. Here's Giddy, following the basket by Scotty Barnes. Giddy the pass to Wagner. Six on the shot clock, passes it to Orte. Shengu. Duran pulls it in. And 
and here's Green. He'll bring it up for USA. They trail by six. The dish to Cunningham. Down low. Here's Jackson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block force them to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time, and if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. That one falls for Jackson. A big group substitution here for Team World. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Team World leading by five. And here is Kaminga. Here's Banton. Pass to Matherin. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Watford. Team World with another miss. So it's USA now. Here's Highland. Five points in the game. Van Carroll with the ball. Pass to Highland. He dishes it to Van Carroll. Alvarado nailed from three-point land. And smart ball movement there from Van Carroll. And that selflessness will endear him to his teammates. And there's the pass to Watford. To the paint. Here's Matherin, and that one is stuffed right through. And I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Here's Highland. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Highland's got seven. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. This game was in danger of getting away from them. They've made a nice push to keep it close. Here's Watford. Passes it to Yurtsevin. And a foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for USA. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And they've been working things through the post tonight, flexing their strength on the block. That's good from Yurtsevich. Hopefully he's checked in for USA. That one falls, so he hits both of them. USA trails by four. Pass to Smith. Here's Highland. He's got seven. From deep. Rebound by Team World. Yurtsevin's got four rebounds in this game. Pass to Matherin. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. He's got seven. And inside, Matherin makes great use of his agility, developing some instincts for how to get around in traffic. Here's Alvarado. And the pass to Highland. Here's Alvarado. Back to Mobley. Alvarado passes to Smith. A three-pointer off the mark. Team World leading by six. Passes it to Matherin. One forty-four left to play here in the third. Right wing. Yurtsevin kicks to Kaminga. Here's Benton. 
tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. Benton's got seven points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Nice shot by Smith. He was money from deep in college. Looks like the confidence has stuck. Pass to Watford. Here's Matherin. 59 seconds left in the third. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And Team World leads by eight. Pass to Alvarado. In the corner, it's Mobley. Now the pass to Smith. Here's Highland. Seven points in the game, and he gets the bucket. Highland's got four points this quarter. Passes to Kaminga. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Out to the wing. Matherin passes to Kaminga. Five to shoot. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Watford. A three-pointer, no good. Here's Alvarado. Here's Mobley. And so it's Team World with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And it's time to get back into it at the Rising Stars Challenge. Tonight, none of these young players will ever forget, I'm sure. Oh, to be young and athletic. Just a ton of energy out there on the floor tonight. Yeah, you know, like we see every year, these young guys are super excited to be playing in this game. And that excitement comes out onto the court. So, Team World's five right now. We've got Kaminga. He's out there with Yurtsevin. And it's Benton in at the two-guard spot. That one's in there. The Team World lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket for Mobley. Pass to Kaminga. Here's Matherin. Yurtsevin kicks to Kaminga. Back to Yurtsevin. It's stolen by Bankero. Four on three break. Mobley, left side. Pass to Alvarado. Smith for three. That shot off the mark. And Team World will come the other way. The pass to Giddy. Over to the left wing. There's Kaminga. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And Team World leads by six. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Here's Highland. And it's Matherin with the rebound. To the inside. Lays it up off the glass. And now an eight-point Team World lead. And really just unselfish basketball on the interior. That's the kind of pass a coach loves to see. Mobley the pass to Alvarado. Here's Highland. And it's Matherin with the rebound. Matherin's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Giddy. Inside. Pass to Matherin. Now, Giddy over Alvarado. Giddy, no good. 
Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Mobley up top. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It's just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Giddy the pass to Yurtsevin. Here's Matherin, covered by Mobley. Pass to Banton. Here's Matherin, the pass to Yurtsevin. Over Van Carroll. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got nine rebounds now tonight. Rebound by Team World. Yurtsevin's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Giddy. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. USA trails by six. Mobley outside. Two points. That one goes. Mobley's got six in the quarter. And that's right in his wheelhouse. They're looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Giddy. Team World with another miss. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for USA. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. And it's Van Caro missing. Team World leading by four. Here's Matherin. Now here's Giddy. Good saving. The shot will not fall. Good D by Mobley. Pass to Highland. This one for three. Buries it from three-point range. He thrilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Highland's gone two of six from long range. And Team World calls time here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Him against Giddy. Duarte passes to Wagner to the middle to end the drought, and the layup is up and in. Duarte has got his first points of the game. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Now here's Barnes. Shoots over Wagner. Barnes can't get it to go. And here is Giddy. And there's the call on Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. Giddy against Cunningham. Lock at six. Here's Forte. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. 
When he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions away, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. You gotta love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Fellas, that's exactly why they look to get him the ball around the rim. I mean, it's either a dunk or free throws every time. And it's Team World with the ball. Following the bucket by USA. Giddy, no good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Down low, here's Cunningham, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Just a special offensive talent. We don't see guys like Cunningham come through the league that often. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Team World. Well, you know, for me, the passing has been fantastic all night. Everybody loves watching this style of basketball where the ball moves and players move. Coaches, fans, and even us broadcasters can appreciate that kind of action. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. Giddy with it. Agner outside. And finish off by Wagner. Wagner able to bounce to the rack and throw it down, and he'll do so just about any time he has the opportunity. Cunningham outside. Into the lane, and they pick up two. So impressive with the fortitude. The will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, you know, battling back is about staying the course, and their attitude never changed. Here's Wagner following the basket by Kate Cunningham. Good D by Barnes. And it's Barnes with the ball for USA. Cunningham outside. Always going up for the alley-oop here, and Duran slams it in. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Now, here's your event. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. And he's shaking off that slow start, giving them a boost here in the second. Cunningham against Giddy. And then Cunningham with the dunk. And the challenge defensively is to find Cunningham at all three levels. He can beat you at the rim. He can beat you from 30 feet out and everything in between. USA, Cade Cunningham. For one. That's good from Cunningham. And it's easy to see why so many are so high on Cunningham. A talented guard who can do a little bit of everything. Now, here's Wagner. Giddy with the screen on Barnes. Wagner kicks to Giddy. Chalk up two there. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Green breaking loose. Cunningham gets the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Yurtsevin passes to Sharp. Here's Duarte. Good ball movement here by Team World. Here's Giddy. It's hauled in by USA. 
and they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Now, here's Cunningham. Over Giddy. Here's Mobley, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Mobley's got the lead up to five now for USA. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And Team World calls time here. Here's Wagner, Giddy with it, guarded now by Barnes. Giddy, the pass to Sharp. Pass to Wagner. Six to shoot. Picked away. Now, Mobley. Green deciding where to go with it. Another three for USA. Green, impressive range from deep. He knows how dangerous he can be from there. Team World trails by eight. 153 left in the fourth. Wagner left side. They need this. Back to Giddy. Just four to shoot. They get the rebound. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. Green, the pass to Duran. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Cunningham against Giddy. Pass to Wagner. The shot misses. Good D by Mobley. Here's Green. Passes it to Durant. Cunningham outside. Over in the corner. Green. Five on the clock. Feeds to Mobley. The rebound by Sharp. We've got 33 seconds left in the game. Pass to Wagner. They set the pick. Here's Giddy. It's good. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. 23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Third team foul. We've got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Fourth team foul. Shooting for Yellow USA. Jalen Green at the line for two. Drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean, he's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. So it gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. You know, in 
important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. And Team World calls time here. They're down by seven. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. You know what? I'm sure crazier things have happened, or, or maybe not. It's, it's a long shot, though. There's 21 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Out of bounds, it'll be USA's ball. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Seventeen seconds left to play in the final quarter. for the fans and a clear picture of just how many talented up-and-comers we have here in the NBA. Greg, no doubt there are some future greats among the players we saw here tonight, and we're pleased to have brought you all the action. So now for Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan saying good night, everyone. 